Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Pauline and today we're going to be talking about don't come to Korea to teach epic if so let's just get into it why you shouldn't come to Korea to teach if dot dot dot, you know? so the first thing, don't come to Korea to teach epic if you are a person that is very impatient because that is not going to work out at all for you the process to become an epic teacher is long that is a minimum of six to eight months so let's say you apply in January, you don't find out until at least June. That's already six months. And then the latest you can find out is August, like the beginning of August, and then you start at the end of August. So if you're an impatient person, don't come to Korea. Like don't even plan to become an Epic teacher because that is just not gonna work out for you. Don't come to Korea to teach Epic if you are a person that cannot handle spontaneity well. So what I mean by that is the Korean surprise is very real. Things happen the spur of the moment, things happen last minute, and you just kind of have to adapt. So if you are not adaptable, if you're not willing to accept those sp spontaneous events, um, and if it, you become stressed out by them, don't come to Korea to teach Epic. Um, it just, it's kind of something that is a constant within all um, Korean teaching, like teachers and stuff like that. Um, because it's not just me in my rural town, it's my friends in cities, it's my friends south um, near like Jollibok or Jollanam or just Jeju, Busan, like it doesn't matter. It's everywhere, um, things can change very last minute and you just have to roll with it. So if you're not a person that can adapt quickly, don't come to Korea to teach an epic. Don't come to Korea to teach epic if you are a person that doesn't understand working hierarchy here in Korea. So if you are from a Western culture um, or just a culture or a country that doesn't run on a hierarchy, and what I mean by that is that a lot of the times um, the cultural shock aspect of the hierarchy within um, working environments in Korea can definitely be a surprise to people. So you have to understand that there is ways for you to go about addressing your problems in Korea. So if you have a problem um, within, you know, like, your schedule or your life here in Korea as an epic teacher you need to like start off with like contacting your co-teacher or the, your handler or whoever they may be and then they will contact someone and they will contact someone you never go straight directly to the top like if you have an issue that you need to address with the principal you still will start by contacting your handler addressing your issue first like because most likely the reason why those that hierarchy is there is because usually the problem can be fixed before it even gets to the top and a lot of people can find that problematic if you're from other countries because um let's say you work in a small business you could go directly to the boss instead of going to your manager or shift leader or whatever it may be but in korea if you're not used to that and you're not used to like um working through the problem first like you're gonna experience a lot of issues here in korea so don't come to Korea to teach an epic if that may be a problem for you. Don't come to Korea to teach as an epic teacher if you're just here for K-pop and you're just a Korea boo. Because I promise you, it's not gonna work out for you. Teaching in Korea is a lot of work, it's a lot of diligence, it's a lot of patience, and you honestly have to like the kids. You have to love to teach, you have to love people, and if you're just not like there for that, you're gonna get burnt out real quick. It is not gonna be fun for you, and work is nine to five every day. So you at least like eight hours a day are on the job, and it's a lot of work, you know? Um, you at least have to have like organizational skills. You don't have to be someone who wants to be a teacher for the rest of their life, but you have to be willing to adapt and grow within this position. So don't come to create a teaching epic if you're just here for like K-pop concerts and things like that, because trust me, you will burn out. Like I've seen so many people that I know like burn out and they're not having a good time being teachers because that's not what they're here for. They're not really, they don't really care. So just. If you're gonna come to Korea to teach an epic, like be here for a good reason. Don't come to Korea to teach as an epic teacher if you have a serious problem with accepting Korean culture. Um, and what I mean by that is that there are different spectrums of Korean culture. There's a super conservative side and there's a super liberal side and there's everything in between. And if you are a person that is always gonna find it problematic to be kind of established as the foreigner, you're gonna struggle a lot here in Korea. And what I mean by that is foreigner is 
very well like it's a very well established term here in Korea so you know being a foreigner and being called one is you know I never used that before in the US like foreigner is not a thing um, but here in Korea that's like the def like a defining word Weiguk is the word that is used to describe a foreigner and there is going to be a lot of challenges with being a foreigner um, especially depending on your background depending what you look like depending on like your like everything everything it's like so there's so many things contributing to that um, struggle that if you find it that you're a person that you don't understand what your privilege is and you don't understand where your place is in society here in Korea you're gonna struggle so much and sometimes like to me it's like a wake-up call for a lot of people with a lot of privilege so in that regard I mean if you have a superiority complex it's not gonna work out for you um, if you have a complex where you find it to diminish other cultures because you find that yours is superior, you should not be a teacher here in Korea to be an epic teacher because being an epic teacher is kind of, the whole point is a cultural exchange at the same time and if you're not willing to accept that Korea has certain standards and certain cultural traits to it that you just don't understand and aren't willing to understand, then you're not gonna be a good teacher because like you're not willing to accept Korea for what it is and you're coming to Korea not just for the K-pop not for the K-dramas and things that you see online it's not for BTS like Korean culture is very different and you have to be willing to accept like that you will be a foreigner and your rights as a foreigner there's different rights for foreigners compared to Korean citizens there's things that are going to be okay for Korean people that aren't okay for you and you have to just accept that that's that's why they're, that society is the way it is at the moment and of course things will change over time but as a foreigner you have to know your place and I feel like that is hard for a lot of people but that is mainly why I feel like don't come to Korea to teach um, in Epic if you're just a foreigner that's gonna be here to like cause problems you know don't come to Korea to teach as an Epic teacher if you are really bad at handling money that is my very last reason and I want to say that like in kind of detail um, if you're bad with money don't expect to save money if you're just bad with money in general at home because it like especially if you're planning to send money home um, you have to know how to maintain your money maintain your funds like don't come to Korea expecting to make a lot of money and sending it all home when you're not taking into account like traveling and experiencing the culture and things like that so if you're bad with money like I just don't suggest you come here thinking like oh I'm gonna make all this money because I don't have to pay for a place to stay there's a lot of maintenance costs there's also like costs that you don't think about as like a person that's just looking into epic so yeah don't come to Korea to teach an epic if you're bad with money because it's not gonna work out for you in the long run and you'll just be like left with nothing at the end so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my video today as to reasons why I don't think you should come to Korea to be an epic teacher I hope this gave you a little insight as to some of the reasons why um, you should or shouldn't be here as an epic teacher and yeah thanks so much for watching bye